If you find yourself in a rut of cooking things that are less than 30 minutes to make and you need some new ideas, then stay tuned because I have four things that you might just wanna add to your menu planning. Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna share with you four things that you might wanna add to your menu planning or your list of things that you make and they all are so easy and they take less than 30 minutes to make. So if that is something that you need help with, you come home from work late and you need something that is quick that you can hurry up and get on the table, then these, as simple as they are, are things that you might just love and your family will enjoy and you will want to keep this in your repertoire of, of things that you cook. So let's go ahead and get into the four meal ideas. Here is a very simple recipe that I'm gonna try tonight. I've never made it before, but the other day I was thinking about Philly cheesesteaks and how good it sounded. So, I'm going to make Philly cheesesteak quesadillas for dinner, and I'm using the low-carb tortillas. So, now, I know everyone has their opinions on how a proper one is made, but this is my version, and it's quick and easy, so let's get to it. To make this a 30 minutes or less meal, I'm just using this store-bought roast beef. I could get it from the deli, but it's way more expensive. So I'm just gonna use this. And I am, the first, before I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna start cooking my frozen um, veggies. You could slice them up yourself, but remember this is quick and easy. So I'm gonna get these in the pan and saute them. While the veggies are starting to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this roast beef because I don't wanna do it in the pan because I don't wanna mess up my pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this. And once the veggies are ready, I'll add uh, this to them and let it cook. And boy, that's, the hardest part of it. All right, this only took uh, about three or four minutes. The veggies are uh, tender. Now, obviously, if you're gonna use fresh, it's gonna take longer, but since these were frozen, it didn't take as long for them to soften up a good bit. So now I'm just going to add the roast beef. and I'm gonna mix it together. Once it's mixed together, I'm gonna cover it and let it cook um, just a few minutes. And then we'll be ready to assemble the quesadillas and get those cooked. You know, I was just thinking, I just wanna make sure it has plenty of flavor so I'm gonna add some garlic and some pepper. All right, this portion is done. So what I'm gonna do now is just take two of these flour tortillas and I'm going to assemble the cheesecake portion, Philly cheesecake, cheese steak, not cheesecake. I knew that didn't sound right. Anyway, I'm gonna use provolone cheese, which I love. I guess you could use any type of cheese you want, but I'm gonna use provolone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda do it like this. Oh, is that enough? I don't know. We'll do, how about let's do it like this. 
do one and a half on each side. So, um, once I have this, then I will just put some of the cheesecake. Gosh, why do I keep saying cheesecake? I must be wanting cheesecake. Cheese steak stuff, the meat filling. Goodness gracious. Use your words, Melissa. All right, so that's probably enough filling for one. Then I will just put more of the provolone on like this, fold it, and then we will cook it on the George Foreman. Now I have my George Foreman plugged up. And once it heats, I'm just going to add one of these to the um, George Foreman, let it heat up, let the cheese melt, and then it'll be done. And I'm gonna serve a salad with it. Now I have read that, uh, I guess in Philadelphia, they use Cheese Whiz. And I do have some cheese sauce, like queso, that I'm going to put in a bowl. That way, if we want to dip it in there, we can, or we don't have to if you don't want to. Tonight is another one of those meals that is so easy. I, it's almost embarrassing to share. But anyway, it's gonna be red beans and rice. And if you have Blue Runner in your grocery store, then you need to get some of the red beans because they are really good. But anyway, it's super easy. So on those nights when you work late or you have sports or you're just tired this is the perfect meal to make because it doesn't require a lot of effort and it tastes really good so i'm going to go ahead and cut up the sausage and i'm going to cook it before i add the beans so i'm going to get the sausage going First thing I'm gonna do is get the sausage in the pot. The reason I'm cooking it in the pot is because I'm just gonna add the red beans to it. So rather than wasting time and energy having to wash another pot or pan, I'm just gonna do it all in one. So I'm just gonna cook the sausage until it, um, until it looks like it's, you know, got some brown around the edges, but I wanna make sure that it gets pretty done before I add the red beans. While the sausage is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the rice to go with the red beans. And I prefer jasmine rice, so you just make whatever kind of rice you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice going as well. This is about what I like for it to look like. So um, I've got it turned down low. Now I'm gonna add the red beans. And Blue Runner has several different varieties. They've got just the original. They've got the Mirapool, which is what this is right here. And it just has the onion, bell pepper, and celery. And then they also have the spicy. So I will probably add another can because we're gonna have a couple extra people here tonight. So I'm gonna add another can. To the 
this, I'm gonna add a little bit of beef broth. I'm not gonna use the whole can. Um, we do like our red beans to be more on the, um, I don't know, juicy side, not soup, but like this, because when you put it over the rice, you want there to be enough liquid to kind of coat the rice as well. But anyway, I'm just gonna let this keep cooking on low. And if I see that it's getting a little too thick, I'll just add more of the beef broth. This literally takes less than 30 minutes to make. The rice is done, so I'm just gonna put it in a bowl. We do eat it in the bowl because like I said, we like our red beans um, a little soupier than um, thick. And then I'm just gonna add the red beans on top. And with this, I am serving a side salad and some garlic bread and this is so delicious. It's always a hit, super filling, and again, super easy. The very first thing I'm gonna do to get this meal started is to start on the potatoes. I always buy this bag of the mixed red and white potatoes, and that's what I use. I don't peel them or anything, so I'm just I just cut them up, and I'm gonna get them on to boil for the potato salad. And I also put my egg in with the potatoes to boil. Now, I'm sure everyone has made sloppy joes or manwiches, so I am not gonna be super, you know, descriptive. I'm just gonna brown my ground beef, and once it is browned, then I make sure to drain the ground beef and add the manwich sauce. We prefer the manwich bowl, so you just use whatever sloppy joe or manwich sauce you like. This is just what we like. Do you hate peeling boiled eggs? I know I do because I get frustrated when I don't do it perfectly, but I think I may have found the answer. You rinse the eggs till they're cold, then you bounce it on the counter to crack the egg, but you keep cracking it until it gets bouncy. Once the egg starts kind of bouncing back, that's when you start peeling it under cold water. At least that's what works for me. Now I'm gonna drain my potatoes using my fancy little strainer I got from Amazon. I'll link it below. But anyway, I'm gonna drain my potatoes and I let them cool for just a little bit before I start um, putting the potato salad together. But once they've cooled a little bit, the way I make mine is I add a little bit of mustard. I don't like my potato salad to be too mustardy but I do put a little mustard in it. And then I just start adding mayonnaise and stirring it. And then if I see it needs a little more mayonnaise, I add a little more. I don't have any kind of measurements. I just kind of eyeball it to the way I like for it to look. I add salt and pepper. I dice up my egg using my Pampered Chef um, egg slicer and add that to it and then the potato salad's ready. Let me know in the comments below, do you prefer your potato salad to be warm or cold? I know people have their preferences, so I kind of like it either way. Here's the little egg slicer I was talking about, and um, I don't know if I can find one on Pampered Chef, but I'll look on Amazon to see if I can find one that's like it, and I'll link it below. But anyway, that's how I make my potato salad. I don't like 
like pickle relish or anything in mine. I don't like onions in it. So this is how I make my potato salad. All right, everything's ready. So I'm gonna put some potato salad on my plate and then the manwich, um, I'm gonna put it together and that is it. Um, this literally takes less than 30 minutes again and it's so delicious. I love manwiches, sloppy joes because it just is kind of a comfort food to me. So hopefully that's another idea you can add to your meal planning. Tonight's meal is about as easy as it comes. I am making French dip sandwiches and I'm just using this roast beef. I actually went to the deli to get roast beef and it was $12.99 a pound. So this was much cheaper. This was a cheaper alternative. So, I mean, this is so easy. It's definitely doable in less than 30 minutes. I'm just gonna stick this in the pot and I'm going to mix some au jus with water put it in there and let it simmer. We're also gonna have some crinkle cut fries in the air fryer. All right, I'm just gonna add a packet of au jus to the water and whisk it real good till it's well blended. But depending on how much roast beef you use, is gonna determine how much of the gravy you need. Now before I put the gravy in there or the au jus with water, I'm just gonna break this apart. And once I add the juice or broth, whatever you wanna call it, once I add that, I'm just gonna let it simmer for, I don't know, I guess till the fries are done. So just add this in there. and I'm going to turn it on to a low temperature. It doesn't have to be all the way low, but a low temperature. And then I'm just gonna cover it, let it do its thing, and I'm gonna put the crinkle fries in the air fryer. I am gonna add a little Tony's to the fries. Mix that up. And in they go. These cooked on about 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now for the sauce to put on the bread, I'm just gonna mix some mayonnaise and some mustard in a bowl. Just mix that up. And if you want to use a store-bought, kind of like honey mustard uh, type topping or sauce, you can. I just feel like it's just easy enough to do it this way. So I'm gonna mix the mayonnaise and mustard now. And I don't measure it. I just kind of go on how it looks. I don't want it too mustardy because my son doesn't actually like mustard, but he'll eat it like this. So I don't put too much mustard. It's now time to construct the French dip sandwich. All right, I'm gonna put the provolone. You know what, I think I'm gonna break this in half because I don't want it being too cheesy. I'm going to put it on that side. And then I'm just going to put this roast beef on the other side. Tilt the 
in a little bit. Get me some of this juice to dip my French dip in. And there we go. This meal is always a hit at our house. So there you have four really quick and really good meals that, I mean, literally some of them could take as long as rice cooks. And if you use minute rice, it could be, you know, a 10 minute meal. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed those. And if you have made some of those before, let me know in the comments below. Or if you think those are some things that you might wanna add, what was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Those of you who are subscribed to my channel already, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And if you have stuck around till now, that means so much to me. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would click that subscribe button, click the bell button. If you like shopping hauls, meal ideas, home decor, uh, home organization and cleaning, then this is the place for you. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Help me reach that goal of 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That would mean the world to me if you would help me reach that goal. Also, if you have not already, leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up because it does help me out with YouTube. And if you need more quick and easy recipes or meal ideas, then make sure you check the box you see on the screen because it's gonna give you a lot more ideas. And I will see you next time. Bye.